Master Sifo DS was briefly mentioned in Attack of the Clones when the Kaminoans explained he had placed an order with them to commission a clone army for the Republic. Beyond this, Sifo DS is not mentioned, but this does not change the important impact he had in the Star Wars universe. In fact, it was this Jedi Master that would indirectly cause the destruction of the entire Republic. Sifo Dyas was a Jedi Master in the waning days of the Republic, who eventually worked his way up to becoming a Jedi Council member. Dyas was friends with another acclaimed Jedi Master who eventually became a Lord of the Sith, Dooku. As Dooku began to fall away from the Republic and Jedi, seeing the corruption throughout the Senate, Dyas too witnessed the declined state of the once proud Republic. Both Dooku and Dyas came under the opinion that the Republic was in its last days. If something major were not to occur that would remedy the dark path it was heading towards. As Dooku officially resigned as a Jedi, Dyas began pushing for the Council to commission a clone army, if the day ever came when they required one. Many of the other Jedi on the Council deemed Dyas extreme, and thus opted for him to be removed from the Jedi Council. Angered by this, Dyas secretly traveled to the planet of Kamino, where he reached out to the cloners, asking them if they would develop a clone army for future use for the Republic and Jedi. In order to do so, Dyas was forced to impersonate the Senate and inform the cloners the Order had come directly from the Senate itself. The cloners agreed, but as Dyas was finalizing the deal, a plot began to end his life. Across the galaxy, the former Jedi Master Dooku had fallen to the dark side and been contacted by the Sith Lord Darth Sidious. Darth Sidious offered Dooku a role as his apprentice, but only after he proved his loyalty. In order to do so, Sidious commanded he end the life of his former Jedi friend, Sifo Dyas. After returning to the Jedi Temple and being sent on yet another mission, Dooku ordered the Pike Crime Syndicate to target the Jedi Master's shuttle. The Pike eventually carried out their deal with the Sith and shot down the shuttle with Sifo Dyas in it, and the resulting crash ended the Jedi Master's life. In order to buy the Sith more time, Dooku secretly deleted the planet of Kamino from the Jedi Archives to ensure the Jedi Order did not go retracing the steps of the killed Jedi Master. After doing so, a very pleased Darth Sidious proclaimed Dooku Darth Tyrannus, Lord of the Sith. Seeing a golden opportunity, Sidious ordered his new apprentice to take over negotiations with the Kaminoan cloners. Dooku ventured to Kamino and informed the cloners they were to continue with the development of the army and that he would take over funding for the project in secret. Dooku also informed the cloners that he had developed a special chip that he wished to be placed within the clones to ensure loyalty to their cause. These chips were secretly developed to ensure that when Darth Sidious gave the order for the clone troopers to eradicate the Jedi, they would follow through without hesitation. Dooku also told the cloners he wished his involvement to be kept a secret and that they continue under the order Sifo Dyas had given them. More than a decade later, on Moraband, Yoda was tortured by a vision of Sifo Dyas, who told him he would reveal to him who the Sith was if he joined him in the dark side. Yoda refused the offer, and the vision revealed itself to be the work of Dooku and Sidious, as they tormented Yoda with visions of the future and the destruction of the Jedi Order. In Legends, the wealthy leader of the banking clan, Higo Damask, spoke with Sifo Dyas in the early days of his concern for the Republic, and the Jedi Master opened up to him about his desire to create a secret army that if need be could be used to aid the Republic. Damask encouraged this idea, assuring the Jedi Master that this was a wise move despite the will of the Council, and because of his foresight, Damask Holdings would fully fund the army. In reality, the leader of the banking clan, Higo Damask, was the Dark Lord of the Sith, Darth Plagueis, and he was sowing the seeds of the destruction of the Jedi using one of their own. Also in Legends, Dooku retrieved the body of Sifo Dyas following his death, and kept it frozen for future use. When the Kalish warrior known as Grievous was secretly critically injured by the Sith, Dooku filled what remained of him with the blood of the Jedi Master. Grievous hoped that being filled with the blood of a Force sensitive would gift him the ability to tap into the Force he had long desired, but this ultimately did not happen. In the end, Sifo Dyas was a Jedi Master who wished to prepare for the darkness he foresaw, but in the end, unintentionally sealed the fate of the Jedi and Republic. The Sith used the rogue streak of the Jedi Master to their advantage, manipulating him to commission the clone army and make it appear as if the Sith had nothing to do with its creation. It wouldn't be until a decade later that Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi would find the planet of Kamino and discover the clone army. Before extensive research could be done, the Republic was thrust into a war, forced to use the clone troopers, as without them, they would have been utterly unprepared for the conflict. 
Without Sifo-Dyas, Sidious would not have been able to keep the origin of the army a secret, as the Jedi ultimately decided not to look into the creation due to the involvement of one of their own. So that is who Sifo-Dyas was, and the major role he played in the Star Wars universe, despite never actually appearing in a film. I hope this video helped fill in the blanks left after Dyas was just passingly mentioned in Attack of the Clones. As a side note, the original plan for Sifo Dyas was that that was merely a name Palpatine used when personally commissioning the army, tricking the cloners into thinking he was a Jedi, but this was later changed, and in my opinion, for the better. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet, maybe consider subscribing to ensure you stay up to date on everything Star Wars related. If you have any other lore topics or questions you want answered, do not hesitate to tweet them at me at StupendousWave on Twitter or leave a comment and I will try my best to answer or make a full video dedicated to your topic. Thanks again for watching, may the force be with you, and have a great day.